Today I'm going to give you lovely head squeeze people a challenge. I want you to show me what kind of strong structures you can create from weak materials, like paper. How flexible and weak that is. No strength there, you would say. But I'm saying that by proper folding and thinking, we can create strong structures. And I'm going to do a test here. I'm going to do three examples with A4 sheets of paper, and I'm going to demonstrate by using water to create weight, how such structures that I make now will work or not work. For this experiment, we're going to need three sheets of A4 sized paper, scissors, a marker, a measuring jug and some water, a plastic bottle, some string, two big books or box files, and sticky tape. So I'm gonna begin with yellow sheets. I'm gonna, what I'm do, gonna do here is create a, a, a triangular section of paper. I'm gonna fold it into five. So I'm gonna get that sort of section. The cheat might be, some people might say, I'm cheating, I'm gonna use sellotape. Can't avoid that. So that's my triangular section of paper. This time I'm going to fold a square section from a standard A4 sheet again. So I'm going to fold in, in half, quarters, and I'm going to fold those again. I'll smarten that up in a minute. Sell the tape. So there's our square box section girder, if you like. Now, using another piece of paper, let's try blue this time. This is the most complex. I'm going to fold just the end over like this, say about three centimetres worth at the end. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to put that to one side there. I'm going to fold this one in half. And then I'm going to cut it in half. As you can see, that's still flimsy. So I'm going to make this into a, a cylinder. I'm going to get this marker to begin the rolling process to create my paper cylinder. This is our editor, Keith. Don't mind. Find the end of that tape, would you? I'll just start the other one off. Now, don't run away. You might as well do this bit for me now. I'll hold that like that. Whiz the tape along that edge, trying not to stick my thumbs down in the process. To test these structures, what I need is weight. And the weight I'm going to use is water. I'm going to get a given amount of water. I'm going to pour it into a into a, a suspension, if you like, into a suspended jug, and see how much water it takes for each of these structures to collapse. I've got my shapes, and they're only this long, so I need to create a chasm in order to span these, so that we've got a weight in the middle which will do the test for us. So I've got two tables here, but a gap in between needs to be a bit higher. So Keith, you could help me. You could use this box file. There's one side there, use this box file there. We've got a tank underneath, so you never know, water might go everywhere. And we're gonna span it like that, okay? Right, now the next thing is I'm gonna use water as the weight. So I'm gonna pour a litre of water. We'll do a little bit of maths, you know. We can work out by subtraction how much water we've actually used. So we're gonna put the water in. I'm gonna get my object, put it through the string, Put it there, get it over the tank, get it in the centre, make sure it's not touching anything. So this is a, a litre of water. Let's see how much water it takes for this to collapse. So I'm left with 800 millilitres of water. I think you better make a note of that, Keith. So that's that one. So let's move on to the triangular section. Over the chasm. OK, here we go. And I'm left with 700 millilitres of water. Better make a note that that's the triangular section. The last one. What we're going to do with these? We've got the little bit that we had left. I'm going to need some sellotape. So what I want you to do, Keith, is just get these arranged like that. I want you to put a little bit of tape across the top there. This bit of paper at the bottom is going to be pulled out like that. So the theory is that this should act like a, a lot of bridge structures. We've got two cylinders, two tubes, and we've got the piece at the bottom which looks flimsy, but yet it will still play a part in the structure. So we've got what they call an A-frame. Now it looks like I'm gonna cheat now because I'm gonna, my hands are gonna touch the structure. I'm gonna hold it 
with me, just one finger, but simply because it will fall over otherwise. It's nothing to do with the, uh, the weight situation. I'm gonna get the hanging basket. Here we go. Now that may have looked like chaos to you, but to me, I suspect it could have been success. We've got just over 500 millilitres of, of water. This is the most successful structure because we've got two cylinders and together they triangulate. When you get a triangle like that, you've got structural success. Now Keith has the scores and the scores are box section 200 grams, triangular section 300 grams, triangulated tube section, the A-frame, 400 grams. So they, right away, that's a strong structure. And you'll find that in all sorts of buildings, bridges, all sorts of stuff.